It is 649 and it's Thursday, which means it's time for Real Talk with Amanda. And Amanda giving tips this week on spotted sea trout. Yeah, so I thought it was a great week to talk about trout because as the water temperatures begin to cool down, the bigger trout start migrating into the area, which add to the fun of catching them. I spoke with local charter captain Ryan Harrington, and he said the best thing about trout is that they are easily accessible for so many people. He said to focus on inshore areas with healthy seagrass in just four to six feet of water. I like to call it salt and pepper bottom. So basically where you see the dark and the light grass combined, uh, that's seagrass and sand in the same area. And the trout will, uh, they'll hang out on the edges of those, uh, those flats. Harrington said artificial soft baits that mimic a shrimp work really well, but live shrimp will also do the trick. Can drift, which is nice, you know, especially when the weather's good and you just have a little bit of wind. Um, you know, 10 mile wind is perfect. Uh, it'll drift you right across those flats. So they are very good to eat as well, especially as a fish cake. Harrington said to find your favorite crab cake recipe and substitute that with raw trout. They are uh, yummy to eat alone as well. And they're actually going to be here through the winter, Lee. So we have plenty of time to go out and catch them. Yeah, and of course, the water temperatures will continue to drop. But the fish cake sounds <laughs> really good. I can't wait for you to bring some in. I know. I've <laughs> actually never made it that way. That was an interesting take. So I'm going to have to try it, too. Looking forward to it. And speaking of that water temperature, it is down to 84. So